Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today's video. Now this is actually a follow-up to a video I did a couple of years ago and it was requested specifically by one of you. Thank you, Anne, for the suggestion. As an American living abroad, I spent an awful lot of time on airplanes, particularly long hauls between here and the US. Here is Ireland, for those of you who don't know. But I don't think this is all negative because you're stuck in this little seat, you've got nowhere to go, you've got nothing to do, nothing but time on your hands, and we are talking for hours. So I have decided Decided along the way to give myself a little bit of spa time when I'm in the air. So not only do I just enjoy the whole process of caring for my skin, because if you've been here before, you know for me it's therapeutic. My favorite part of the day is always taking my makeup off and just giving the me time to putting all these lovely lotions and potions on my face. But there's an additional bonus that when you get to the other side, when you get to your destination, more often than not, I mean, whether it's a seven hour flight or an 11 hour flight, you feel a little crappy. But if you give your skin some extra nourishment along the way, you actually end up feeling better when you get there. Plus, we know that the environment on the plane is really drying and it just takes a toll on our skin. So the more that we can do to keep our skin hydrated and to keep it happy, the better we all feel when we arrive at our destination. So for me, every time I pack to go on a trip, not only am I organizing my regular suitcase, I will always do this sort of packing of the stuff I'm taking on the plane with me so that I'm prepared and ready to go every single time. And there is sort of a kit. I do have this little kit that I always have the same types of products in here, even though they may change from year to year, month to month, whatever. So I'm going to do the whole routine with you right now, exactly as I would do as I sit down on a long haul flight and you can see how easy it is and all the products that I use. And yes, I, I enjoy this so much. So first off, I would always do a shower in the morning. I'd wash my hair, wash my face, and I would do very little when it comes to prepping for travel. I mean, I'm used to being on plane for many, many, many hours. So I generally leave the house with wet hair, looking pretty scruffy, not a whole lot off from where I am right now. And the tiniest bit of makeup, if at all, and obviously SPF, because I never leave the house without that. So right now I have a tiny bit of tinted moisturizer on, I have a little bit of mascara, um, and my hair looks a mess, but look sure, that's the way it goes. Okay, so here is my little kit of goodies. And inside here we have my cellar water because that's what I use to take off the SPF or any makeup. And I have my cotton rounds. I have a mask because this is a big important piece for me when it comes to long haul flights. I have a hair oil, which is just an essential, particularly if you have menopausal hair. I have a little Vaseline tub. It's a multitasker, use it for a few different things. I have an eye cream or an eye serum. I have a moisturizer. I have a hand cream. I have a face oil, which has been decanted. I have a mist as a cereal mister. I have my little lip balm that has a bit of a tint to it. And I have an SPF slash makeup-y kind of a thing. And it kind of fits all in this clear pack that can go through um, security. So the very- what, what do I have, Mary? Um, what do you have, Gary? You, have, you got the big nothing. <laughs> and Gary just stands at me incredibly embarrassingly beside me going, what are you doing? Or have you just made peace with a Gary? I don't say that. No, you don't. No, you're very kind. You wouldn't do that. But I can say, People look at you a little weird. So I start off by just putting a bit of micellar water onto a pad and taking everything off. Now, generally that includes the mascara, but you don't have to. Um, it is so funny to do this on a plane. Now I've been doing this, we're talking about, gosh, I've lived abroad for 18 years. I've probably been doing this for 14 years, I'd say, in some fashion. I think it's kind of gotten more intense. <laughs> <laughs> over time. But if you have some business guy sitting next to you, and I try to be discreet about it, you know, I I, I, I do. I mean, I'm, is this just, I don't know, is this discreet, Gary? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, there, with maybe the rise of, you know, influencers and people doing weird things in public, maybe it's not such a big deal. But for years, my daughter, she's now almost 21, was so disgusted and horrified by me doing this on airplanes, because generally she was sitting next to me. I have a 15 year old who didn't really care too much. Okay, I've just realized as an aside, I just got fringe bangs and it's making things a little bit more <laughs> complicated <laughs> for these kind of things. But anyway, so my littlest has never, never been bothered by this process, but the eldest, oh, she used to cringe, mom, stop it. And now she'll be, ooh, can I have some of that? Ooh, can I have some of that? So she's starting her own little long haul spa routine when she's on the plane, which is exactly what mama wants. Take care of your skin, kid. That's what I say. So I just keep doing this until the pads come up clean. That's my rule of thumb because I'm trying to get all the sunscreen off. I'm trying to get any bit of makeup off. And I will always go down the neck as well. Depending on the time of day I actually get on the plane, it could be hours later and it might not take as much time to do this. I think I'm on my fifth round now. 
and I wait until this comes up clean and then I'm good to go. And now my French is a mess. So the first thing I do is mist. Uh, the one that I brought with me here today is by True Botanicals because it comes in this teeny tiny little thing and I can just refill it, which is great. And I always do a bit of a mist because it just starts off with, you know, moisture and everything's going to suck in a little bit better as a result. And I would use this throughout this routine and throughout the flight, actually. This is the one thing that people kind of go, mm! and it, it is the most awkward of all of these steps because you can't hide that. <laughs> You're spritzing it and then there's anybody on either side of you. Half the time you might be getting them. So the very first thing I do is put a mask on. I usually do a couple of different layers and I start with a thin layer. Right when I sit down, it's the first thing that I do after I've cleaned my face. And there are two that I am using primarily and have been for a while. This one I've used for years. This one is by Dermalogica. It is called the Skin Hydrating Mask. And then the other one is by Sicily. This is so iconic. Um, this is the Black Rose Cream Mask, uber expensive. This one is, is way more affordable. And these are both nearly empty. I will not be repurchasing this because my wallet can't afford it. I managed to use some coupons and got this on sale, but it's just outside my price range. I will be repurchasing the Dermalogica. So I start off by doing, I don't know, more of a thin layer. It's just to kind of get a bit of moisture level going in the skin. Gosh, that feels good already. And if you know this product it smells lovely, it feels lovely, so nice on the skin. And I put this all over. I would not use a mask that had a color to it. Like I want a mask that's going to soak into my skin so you don't look like a crazy person. Now, you know what? You could do a sheet mask if you wanted to do that. There's nothing that says you can't. I personally wouldn't. I don't necessarily want to draw that much attention to myself. If I had a tank top or something lower on, I would go onto the chest, but I don't want to stretch out my top and I'm just not going to do that now. So I leave that on and I always do the back of my hands, right? So that is just this lovely hydration layer that I start with. And then I usually sit down and I take a look at the movies, kind of what's going on, make sure everybody's settled. I generally am traveling with my kids who are older and don't care about me anymore. But when they were little, you had to make sure they were set up with all their bits. And uh, I generally just try to look at the in-flight entertainment to see what I'm gonna do for the next seven or nine or 11 hours. Okay, so next I'm gonna do something to my hair because I just wanna get it out of the way. Now I go for my Olaplex oil. This is my best friend in the whole wide world. I will start off by giving it a bit of a brush. It's looking a little unruly. Now my hair is way longer than it's been on any of my previous trips, which means I can put this puppy up. So I will always put about, I don't know, five or six squirts of that, shakes of that. And then I just put this through my hair. I now have horrible menopausal straw hair. That's the worst thing in the whole wide world. So oils have become my new best friend. And then what I'm gonna do is put it up because I can't be bothered. I cannot be arsed to deal with this at all during travel. And it's such a luxury to having longer hair as this puppy is just gonna go up and out of the way. Might not be the prettiest thing in the whole wide world. I do not care. So that's out of my way. I feel lighter already. Geez, these bangs are killing me now. <laughs> They're fine when I'm not doing anything to my face. Okay, so then I do things like put on a little bit of Vaseline or some kind of balm. The Elizabeth 8-hour balm situation is excellent for lips. It's also very good for cuticles if you're feeling dry on the cuticles. The air in an airplane is just so bad for so many things that I find Vaseline is just great. Um, for all over the place, but keeping my lips hydrated is critical. And I'm, and I'm addicted to those, those little pots. I have all of the pots and they're dirt cheap. So then a little bit later, I don't know, 15 minutes or so, 20 minutes, I'm kind of settled and la la la. I'm gonna go in with another round of my mask. So this one, I tend to do a bit thicker. Oh, no, that's big fat lie. That's big fat lie. Before I do that, I go in with an eye cream. And my eye cream is something that I will probably do frequently throughout. Because for me, if you've been here before, you know my eyes are sort of an area that I pay a lot of attention to. So for me, it's all about layering on the hydration. You can never do too much around the eyes. So for this, I'm using the CeraVe Repair Eye Cream. It's dirt cheap and it's small, and I always travel with this. It's just perfect. That sound signals the end. I think we are ending the end of Sicily, which is such a shame. So I'm going to put on a much thicker, thicker version of this now. My skin feels so good. 
so there's a wide variety of hours that I'm typically on a plane. So if I'm going to New York to visit my girlies who live there, that's a seven-ish hour flight. Now, if I'm going to Florida, which I generally do a few times a year to visit my mom, you got to tack on another four hours with changeovers. You can't fly direct to where I grew up. So you're looking more at nine hours. But if I'm going to California, we're talking 11 plus. So if I'm on one of those really long hauls, it would not be unusual for me, particularly if I'm feeling a bit dry or my skin's feeling a bit tight, to just take everything off and do this whole thing again. I have done that before. But usually after about, I don't know, an hour, two hours, maybe three hours, if I just feel things are getting a bit parched, then I will go in with the face oil. This particular face oil is by Biosans, and this is their vitamin C plus rose oil. So it actually has a bit of vitamin C in it too. Because right now I don't have any kind of protection on my face, just be mindful of that. When you're up in the air and the windows are open, you still could be getting UVA rays through. So, you know, in theory, you should have SPF protection when you're in the plane. The beauty of flying long haul is they generally close all of the windows down because people want to watch videos and want to watch movies. So I don't have to worry about it as much, but I am using a face oil that has a bit of vitamin C in it. So it's got a bit of antioxidants, which are there to protect the skin. So I might put about four or five of these in here. And now I've de decanted that into a smaller container. And I think that this type of thing, it's really great to use up your samples because we always get samples with stuff we order or you get samples in store. So you wouldn't necessarily take those to get you through an entire trip when you're away, but they are great for the airplane. We are talking hydration city. I kind of feel like a donut. <laughs> And that's not a bad thing. So throughout my seven to 11 hours, I will occasionally spritz if I feel it's needed and or I will apply some more of the eye cream. It really just depends on how my skin's doing. If my skin's particularly in a dry spell, which it is right now, it's gonna require a lot more layers. If my skin is oily, which it can do, then I will do a lot less. It's just a matter of listening to my skin. The beauty is I've got the time, I have the resource, so I'm able to just do whatever my skin needs for the duration. So the beauty is that when I get there on the other side, I feel so much better. So so let's just fast forward to seven hours, you know, eight hours down the road and you're kind of getting ready for the descent. So this is where I start to take things off and prepare for the other side. So there's actually two things that I can do. One is just sort of spritz with, you know, wash my face with a little bit of water and do nothing else and just let all that stuff kind of stay there. Or I can take more of my micellar water and my little cotton round and I just very quickly remove anything that's on the face. Happy skin, happy skin. And this just wakes you up. Again, even just splashing some water on your face helps to prepare you. I may put a little bit more oil on my hair, depending on how I'm feeling. So for the most part, my skin is feeling nice. It's feeling hydrated. It's feeling plump. So now there are just a few things I can do in preparation for getting off the plane. So generally, there's very little. The first is I would do a moisturizer. So I just want to lock it all in. So for this, I just got a little mini sample of the Tatcha. This is the dewy skin cream. I was able to pick up this little tester at Space NK, which I assume you can probably also get it somewhere like Sephora. I will put the details to all of these products down below. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I haven't tried this product before. This is amazing. If you wanna put on a little eye cream here, we can do that too. I'm probably not gonna bother at this stage. I'm exhausted. I probably haven't slept much at least my skin feels amazing. So the last thing I would do is make sure I have an SPF on. So ordinarily I'm flying somewhere US based that the sun is still up when I get there. I'm either going to Florida or California. So I wanna make sure I have SPF coverage. Now the product that I use all of the time is this one by Trini London. It is my BFF cream. It has an SPF 30 which isn't enough and I don't generally rely on this, but this also just makes my skin look good. It's not makeup, but I can wear it in place of makeup. So it kind of blurs all the lines. I don't have enough in here. So I'm not going to put it on for this video because I need to take this with me tomorrow. I'm actually doing a bit of travel tomorrow. So what I'm putting in here instead is actually a tinted mineral sunscreen because it leaves really good color and it's gonna give me the protection I need, right? So this is what I will have in my little kit, which might actually be tomorrow. I'd be so nervous of running out of my Trini and then not having something to use. Because this just evens out my skin tone, it gives me adequate coverage, this makes me look a little bit better. I do carry a lot of redness in the middle of my face, so this just makes things a little bit better. It's also quite moisturizing and it gives a little bit of a glow. This is the r, &R Sun Serum by Undefined and I just love it. It was a recent discovery for me this year in my sunscreen challenge, and I just love it. So that's it. All the skincare is done. 
my hair is looking a little bit oily from all the oil that I've put in my hair, but you know what? It feels so good. And I might just do a little low one of these or something to try to <laughs> make myself look not shite after an 11 hour flight. But what I can say, my skin feels amazing. So hopefully I feel a little bit more refreshed and mostly I've protected my skin. I've kept it very hydrated and it hasn't taken the toll that I know that it would on these kind of long haul flights. So that is it for today's video. That is the crazy stuff that I do every time I get on a long haul flight, which is generally three or four times a year. My skin loves me for it. So does this look familiar to you or does this just look bonkers? Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure Gary's behind the camera going bonkers, even though he knows it's coming. I think he might cringe a little every time I do it. Oh, no, 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 no. He's too sweet and kind to say that. So thank you so much for joining me today. And if you like the look of this video, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and leave all of your comments down below. Do you use any of these products? Do you have other products? Are there other crazy things you do on a plane? <laughs> I'd really like to know. I could use a little support here. So thanks again, guys, and I'll see you at the next video. Bye. Summer cider. I just realized that my friend just gone all, has gone all shite.